Hi there. Says, no, you're not in the wrong room. It's right at noon. I come on right at noon. I'm always trying to be really timely. Hi, Amy. Hi, Flo. <sighs> Here we go again. Another Monday. All right, let me see. I think I would like to watch on YouTube. Watch what you guys are watching. Okay, that's better. And then I can get a pop-out chat. Hopefully YouTube will be sending out um, notifications pretty quick. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching the recording, go ahead and um, scrub forward until something starts happening. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tim. Hi, Barbara. All right. We've got a screen going. So what's going on, you guys? Not a whole hell of a lot around here. I'm waiting for all these city people to leave. It wasn't a bad weekend, honestly. And I got your zines. I'm going to show them here in a minute or two. Hi. And I'm glad you participated in the swap. I should be getting a lot more here soon. A lot of people have told me, oh, they're on their way. And if you're here early, Terry Brad, I've got yours to show. Hi, Sharon. Um, if you're participating in the swap, you've got, what, like 10 days now to get them to me. So if they're not in the mail already, you better get them in the mail or you're probably going to be too late. Hi, Dee Dee again. I mean, usually in the U.S. it shouldn't take 10 days, but I think sometimes it does. On your phone, not a problem, Amy. Hi, Kathy Arbor. You're mailing them tomorrow. You, they should be fine, Linda. So, yeah, I've got three to show you today. So... And I know Jasper was working on hers, so she can get them in the mail here pretty quick. And then, yeah, and then I won't dawdle too long in between the 15th and turning around and getting them out because the 17th, I've got company coming. So I want to have all of that done before company comes because after company gets here, the chances of me spending a lot of time on anything is slim to none. That's the truth. So, all right, we will just give it a couple more minutes. This is the book I'm going to paint out of today. Um, I showed it last week quickly. It's really a nice book. You got a sneak peek, Alina's? Yeah, she said they're in the mail, so... I can hardly wait. Devin said hers are in the mail. A couple of people have said they're on their way. So if I know they're on their way, I probably will wait for them. Hi, designs and do-overs. I'll just have to take a hour, couple hours. It takes a while to um, trade them out. But I'm sure I could find a couple hours somewhere. So, yeah. But anyway, what I was going to say about this book, um, I did get a chance to look at it because I just gotten it when I showed it the last time. Um, and I got a chance to really kind of look into it more. I have to say this book intimidates the hell out of me, you guys. It really does. This guy is so good. He's so thorough. He's He's so good, you know? And so... I think I can learn from him for sure. Um, I did pick out a few pages. I thought these um, little boxes of just um, up close, I thought that would be fun. I enjoyed that. I want to do that. And he he does talk about the colors that he uses. Um, not so much about technique. Mostly he uses glazes, which, duh. Um, but some of the things that he did, he I haven't seen that he um, 
like impresses the paper to get the little bit darker lines. And you can do that one of two ways. You can impress the paper and let the um, pigment settle there, or you can go in later and, and paint it in. I think he mostly goes back in and paints it in later, but he is a several layer kind of um, painter. I tend to be put a lot of crap on at once and be done. But yeah, I don't, um, I don't put myself out there as some sort of watercolor expert. I just like playing with new stuff. And watercolors are fun new stuff. But I thought these close-up studies would be fun. Um, I picked out this one. I just love this. I like the composition. I like the colors. I like everything about it. I also like this um, close-up kind of study, too. So I don't know. It's just so hard being me. But I thought if I did do like this one, rather than go back in later and um, put the darker lines in, that I would try and impress the paper and see how that works. Anyway, a bunch of you come in. I said hi to Terry, or I talked to Terry anyway. Hi, Kalura. I think I am going to save some time. We're going to play um, Pictionary later. Um, hi, Carol. Magical touch. Hey, Rachel, cat and paste. Billy is a woman. Well, thank you, Kathy Arbor. There you go. You know what they say about assuming. All right, just looking at chat, see how many other people I miss. Barbara Clark. So this one I also picked out, and then this one. I like this one. I think this one really scares the snot out of me, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, this one, the green goddess lily. Um, let me show you the final one. And he does, she does. Sorry, Kathy. Um, thank you for correcting me. Um, this one is like a step out. She takes you every step through the entire painting. These are not quick paintings, you guys. Like, she paints and says, let it dry thoroughly. Well, that's really hard to do on stream, but it makes a difference. Hi, Joan. Um, so this one, I think the thing that intrigues me about this one so much is you're painting, well, it's not a white flower, but you've got to be really careful where you leave that white. It's almost like negative painting. He's She's got a couple of white flowers in here that I think will be really challenging, but I'll do them not on stream. So if they turn out bad, I can just put them in the trash. Right, Barbara? It, uh, it's ridiculous. Unexpectedly conservative? Oh, no, they're, we won't go into it. Anyway, so yeah, I, I've enjoyed going through this, this book. And uh, this would be like the dream. This one I'm not going to do on stream for sure, because you guys it'd just give you material to make fun of me. But I'm kind of more inclined to do something like this, just because I want to, I picked out two journals that I'm going to work in. And I'll show that after I um, show the other books. You know, Cat and Paste, Cat and Paste said, I think watercolor is the most unforgiving of all mediums. It is and it's not. Acrylic, of course, you can just cover up anything. Watercolor, when you get the pigment there, it's there. Um, But in some ways, it is forgiving because you can go over it. You can pick it up. Um, if you have a magic eraser, you can just erase it. Not completely, but you can erase. Um, so anyway, who have I missed coming in? But yeah, I agree, Cat and Pace, that it, it can be the most unforgiving. Hey, CB. Hey, Zandra. I passed on your um, message to Dee Dee. So she's going to check it out tonight. 
So anyway, let's look at the other stuff before we jump right in. Um, I did go to Hobby Lobby last, what, Tuesday or something. And they did have a ton, a ton, a ton of books on sale, you guys. Oh, my God. It was so hard not to just buy them all because they were so damn cheap. Why not? You know, but I exercised uber discipline because I kept telling myself, OK, think about where you're going to put them when you get them home. What are you going to do with them when you get them home? Oh, OK, never mind. I can't have them. <laughs> I'm out of space. Cat and paste. Try doing a lift off but be using really good paper when you do it because if you do it on cheap paper i'm talking about using the mat magic eraser when you're using good paper pick up um your paint no i just heard about them this morning hi brenda about the timmy distress watercolor pencils i don't need any more so just take that so um the book that I, I think I'd looked at this several times and I do have the book, How to Draw Cool Stuff. Um, closer to Realism Drawing. <clears throat> and it's called The 15 Minute Artist. Um, and Rachel, this is the kind of book I was telling you to recommend to that. Um, Brendan, your little 15 year old artist guy. I think when you, um, I can't even think about what book really got me thinking about shading and how to do it and how to become proficient about it and how to think about it because there's different kinds of, of shading, right? If your highlights are above, the shading is underneath. You got to kind of be thinking about that. It's not just learning to do it. It's about, um, seeing what's not there it's hard to um to see the shadow because your brain just absorbs it and that's what gives that dimension right so these are the kind of books i was recommending for that young man who wants to get better at drawing um graphite is awesome because um talking about forgiving it is very forgiving if you don't like it you can erase it um and if you're so inclined or you know somebody who's so inclined to buy him some um pencils i mean you can do almost anything with a number two but to do, get a nice black it's good to have a, a selection of b pencils so yeah Eraser is your favorite tool, right? But when you're working with graphite, that's one of the advantages. Another thing is if he, if he has, now this is what he definitely needs if he's going to be working on shading. Um, and they're cheap as hell, a kneaded eraser. So if you get too much graphite down, you can just press and pick it up. And you can get real precise because you can mold this into just like the tiniest little point just to pick up a little bit or smudge just a little bit if you're going to draw in graphite this is one thing i would definitely recommend so i hope you're making a list rachel because he doesn't need a lot but if he has a few tools um yeah he'll notice his product improves immensely another thing i thought of after we talked rachel is Kathy Arbor, I don't know how long it's been, Kathy, but a few years ago, well, let me get them out real quick. I think I know exactly where they are. She did some beginning drawing streams that were really, really good. How did a paper towel get back? Oh, it's not. It's okay. Never mind. I'm going to say, how did a paper towel get back there? This is my goofy book that I just play in a lot. I draw with Dee Dee in it. There's Zippy the Unicorn. This is not the book. But this is all graphite drawing. I love graphite drawing. Okay, it would have to be before that. If it's not in there, it's probably in here.
drawn eyes. I don't know what this was was out of. I hope I can find them. But for a while, I just drew nothing but eyes and faces and features. Three quarter face. She came out pretty good. But I think with everything, there's always something you can do. But Kathy started out, doggone it, this is making me mad now. I like this girl too, but there's something wrong with her left eye. Too big or something. Let's see. Mouths, there's a whole bunch of mouths. Oh, I hope it. Okay, this is one of Kathy's um, projects that she did with us. This was in 2019. So have her go back or have him go back and look at some of these um, basic drawing that Kathy did with us. This is one of them. This was done with a crisscross grid. That's another thing that would be really good for him to learn. But she did classes on perspective and basic shapes that when you start learning that stuff, everything um, becomes so much easier. Point perspective, grid drawing. So this is another one she did. Kathy, let's do more graphite drawing. She gave us homework. Um, so, yeah, tell him to go look for that. And Kathy is a great teacher, too. So, And it's all really quick. It's not like you have to invest hours and hours and hours, right? All right. So, anyway, this is the 15-Minute Artist book that I bought. If you have a Hobby Lobby nearby and you want to get better at drawing, I think this is a pretty good um, book because it shows you how to start out your drawing and you ultimately have to shade it and um, you have a finished product and hopefully you've learned something along the way. You're welcome, Kathy. What the heck? Something just fell, but I don't know what. Hmm, that's really weird. Oh, well, I'll find it later and then I'll cuss really a lot. So it's just like I will definitely be drawing this shoe. I think some pens fell out of my build. My build is what happened. So, yeah, if you want to get better at drawing, I like this chain. I will be drawing the chain. And I don't think you ever get so good that you can't go back and do some more. Great ASMR, Rachel. Here's some crosshatch shading. So for four bucks, I will get fun out of this. I think that ladybug was the only color in here, honestly. I think everything else is, nope, here's cat eyes in color. But I think after you learn it in graphite, switching it over to color is not that big a deal. There's some tacos. Who doesn't want to draw a taco? So that's one of the books that I bought. And then I've always loved cartooning and stuff like that. So I bought this one just because. Look at those little guys. They're so cute. I want to draw them. They'll end up in the beast. And they'll probably be saying snarky stuff. But this was another really good book, I think. And there's so many different ways to draw. There's cartooning. There's realism. There's getting close. Um, I'd rather eat a taco. Me too. I might have to send Robert for tacos today now because I have no plan for dinner. Kind of like I have no plans for my stream. I also have no plans for food. But I think the very first book I ever bought, and I probably had to save up babysitting money or something, was How to Draw Mickey Mouse. And I still have the book. 
But I think every time you sit down to draw, you reinforce skills that you have or you learn something new. So that's why that young kid or, or you guys, anybody, look at that little turtle. Um, you have to do it. I mean, it's nice to sit here and think, oh, I want to draw that. But you have to do it, do it, do it, do it, and then do it some more. You're not looking, you're not looking. I hear you. But I could have bought so much more, you guys. And this one was only $2.73. This wasn't even $3. So even if I just cut this book up and use the pieces that I want, what have I lost? Three bucks? It was fun bringing it home and looking at it. <clears throat> All right. And then the zines. I got some zines in this week. I don't know. I'll do them in the order that they came. Two day, one day I got two. So we'll just show Jane's first. This is Jane Litterick. She said, this was fun. And that's the whole point of the whole thing is if you're not having fun, throw it in the trash and move on. Go, go do something fun. Life's too short. So you're welcome. I like doing swaps. I love seeing you guys work. I like seeing you think outside the box. So um, I'm looking here and it looks to me as though she cut. Um, it's a combination of things she cut out, collage, and things that she drew is what I'm thinking. Um, Mother Goose News, Goose Gossip. Uh -huh. What truly happened that day on the hill? Oh, let me pull you guys down so you can see. Those look like those characters that used to be in magazines. Right, color? They do, for sure. All right, let me see. Focus, you freak. Might be too far in. There we go. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. So she's collaged the woman in the pumpkin, drew some little pumpkins, did the background. Good job. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. And I think this is them tumbling but look at Jack and Jill. I'm sure she cut those out. Dear reader, unbeknownst to most, Jill had a twin. Julie Pumpkin Eater was her sister. Julie was tired of eating pumpkins. Peter and Jill had been meeting in secret, planning to run away. Oh, my God. Hi, Chris. Eek, that fateful day. Peter took Julie in her pumpkin to the top of the hill. Once Jack and Jill arrived, Peter crowned Jack with the pumpkin. Jack, Julie, and the pumpkin rolled down the hill. This is what really happened. Right, Dee Dee? But what I love is she took these seemingly unrelated images and has built a story, and I. it's just... So fun. I just, I look at these just like over and over and over. But brown paper and vinegar cannot cure memory loss. Peter and Jill ran away and opened up a pie shop. Isn't that fun? And there's pumpkin pie with whipped cream. And then a whole totally unrelated image. Just, it, I don't know. And it, this is very imaginative, creative, well done. Good job. Yep. Very clever. Very, very clever. And that's the thing, you know, you go into this with just Mother Goose, you know, and then people think outside the box, man. Now you want pumpkin pie? I just love that she took so many different images. I mean, I can't imagine what I'd have to go through to find the policeman, the businessman, the kids laying down. It's just... I, so imaginative. So good job, Anne. And if you were smart enough to join in the swap, you might get one. Of, I, those are not Anne. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's Jane Litterick. 
Anne's are the next one. So that was Jane Litterick. I'm sorry. All right. And then this one, let's see. Oops, got to put that back in. I try not to let the pieces get away. I really do try to keep all this stuff together. This one is Ann Lair. And she put a little note in. I can't put that out there. All the addresses are there. Thank you for arranging the swap. She had fun. So that's what I like hearing. That um, people had fun doing it. Because that's what it's all about. All right. And this has been here a while. So... Um, the Ridiculous Wishes. Okay. And again, it looks like she's taken, it's collage, taken different images from different place and forced it together to make this story. Once upon a time, there was a poor woodcutter named Blaze. I think Blaze. He asked the gods to help him, but he felt his pleas fell on deaf ears. As soon as he spoke these words... There was a great clash of thunder, and Jupiter appeared, wielding thunderbolts. Fear not, I have heard your complaint. I will grant you three wishes, but be careful what you wish for. Terrified, Blaze threw himself to the ground. Look at this, and the little cartoon figures. That looks like a Dee Dee sky, honestly. Oh, my beautiful wife, I have the best news. Jupiter visited me in the woods today and granted me three wishes. Let's have a feast and make our wishes tomorrow. Right? It's a great little character. While eating, Blaze said he wished he had some sausage. All of a sudden, sausage appeared. Oops, be careful what you wish for. Fanny was furious and yelled and yelled at Blaze. She called him an idiot and a fool. I think I can relate to Fanny. But look at the images. They're just so cute. And they're having a little bottle of wine. <clears throat> Blaze yelled, enough, woman. I wish the sausage was stuck to your face. And wish number two was granted. <laughs> he had wanted to wish himself a kingdom. But now, but how could he be a king with a queen who had a sausage stuck to her face? So he let Fanny decide whether to be a queen with a sausage stuck to her face or to be the wife of a poor woodcutter. Okay. So Blaze stayed a poor woodcutter and his beautiful wife was returned to him and they lived poorly ever after. Moral of the story. Three wishes are just not enough. The size of the sausage, right? It's just so cute. I think Fanny would have um, had to live with that sausage on her face if, if it was my world. Be careful what you wish for. It is. They're, they're just so cute. I just love everybody's take so much. And I hope I was pronouncing the name right and everything else. So thanks for playing, Anne. These are so much fun. And it's so much fun for me when Robert brings in the mail and then there's fun stuff in there because I have my coffee and I sit down and I read them. And here's Terry Bretz. Make sure. Terry said that this is only the third or fourth zine I've made so I've made, so apologies for the foldage. I read more than practice. Fun making them, though. So that's all I need to hear. The thing about a zine is they're always a little hard to fold, but you do the best you can. And look at this card. I can do it. I can beat Mark Tyson. I can do it. That's what I thought when I opened this. I could beat Mike Tyson. I could fight tigers. Let me get this camera straight. So that's a really a cute little card. And she wrote me a nice note and said, thank you for sharing your time, giving 
tips on how to do things, all the fun and laughter in your stream, showing us what to buy so we have the right things and being you. Thank you, Terry. So I like the I can do it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. And then she did a zine for me. And did I knock this camera cuckoo again? What are you like? I was almost afraid to open this one. What are you like? And then there are all the monsters. Irritable and fast is Carborg. Bad-tempered, quick to attack. And Opto is shy, scared of everything, and slow, eager to please. Anthony, now this was my swamp creature, not to be trusted. True that. Sly, secretive, and snarky. Plurk is opinionated, angry, and loud. Derb, I just drew him yesterday, Terry. Friendly, funny, and energetic. I can't remember what his profession was, but I just drew him. Fang is strong, loud, and loyal. It's funny, though, because when you look at Fang, like just his posture um, kind of gives you some of his traits, right? That he's strong, obviously, loud, yeah, and loyal. It's just like, yeah, they um, just their stance gives you personality traits. And this is Urkel. He's quiet, slow, and loves to eat. Terry, I love this so much. I loved it more than you know. And it probably is going to live in a pocket in the Monster Journal, which I've only got, believe it or not, you guys, I think I've only got like 10 more pages in the Monster Journal. I did work on it over the weekend. I don't know where it is right now. But, yeah, all the monsters. I'll have to pull out a little bit. But look at, I think there's only 10 pages left back here that need a monster. So slowly, slowly, the whole book is getting full. I'll get it colored this week. They are fun to do, right, Terry? And they're, they don't have to be all pressure filled, right? They can just be fun. Just fun for the sake of fun. Okay. And then here's her mother goose scene. And Terry, I'm assuming, um, did you draw these? Tell us how you did it. Because when I thought saw it, I thought, did she cut that out of a book or did she actually draw it? But whatever you did, well done you. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wonder, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. Wander, gander. Okay. Mother Goose had a house. Twas built in a wood where an owl at the door for Centennial stood. Look at these. I think she drew them. They're so good. You want to find the book of monsters, Carol? They're from an old book of nursery rhymes. Okay. She had a son, Jack, a plain looking lad. He was not very good, nor very, not, nor yet very bad. She sent him to market, a live goose he bought. Here, mother, he says he, it will not go for naught. Jack's goose and her gander grew very fond. They'd both eat together or swim in one pond. Jack found one morning, as I have been told, his goose had laid him an egg of pure gold. That's what I wish these crap monsters around here would do. And then look at them. Made by Terry Brett. Terry, this is, thank you for playing. It's good. They're all so unique and different and good, right? So I hope those of you that participated are looking forward to getting your stuff. And I love the card and I like the monster zine. And I'm a lucky girl. Right, Rachel? They're all so good. They're all imaginative and yep. And I'm going to be happy to send them out so you guys get them back. And I hope you're happy with 
all that you get back. <clears throat> so 10 days, guys, if you're participating, get them in the mail. Submit six, get five back, but it looks like you're going to get six back anyway. So um, I'm going to use the um, Daniel Smith are the colors at the top. Um, M. Graham are the colors at the bottom. I use them interchangeably. I don't care. But because I'm working in this fancy dancy book, I thought I better get out my fancy dancy watercolors, right? It is. Great interpretation of the directions. Yep. And something is as simple as just Mother Goose. Just go to town. I love the Daniel Smith, too. Cat and Paste. I think they're my favorites. The stupid thing is, they're all my favorites. I mean, when I get out a new set or a different set that I haven't used before, I love them just as much. I love my cheap watercolors as much as I love these. And then I wasn't sure which journal I wanted to work out of. So um, I was going to pick just one great big sheet. And I thought, no, I buy these damn journals. I need to use them. Okay, this is a Diana Reevely, I think, Ranger um, watercolor journal. And I have to say, I haven't done a huge amount in it, but I have to say the paper is awesome. And this was the thing I did on stream a comparison of some, I didn't write down which paints, but um, probably it was Daniel Smith or M. Graham. And then this was Crayola. Just to show you guys that you can make awesome art with Crayola products. So that was one thing I did on stream. I did both of them just to show you guys. Crayola makes some good products. And I should write down. Oh, these both were just pretty excellent. I was just playing, learning something this day. I don't remember what. So, yep. Once you use Daniel Smith. You like the Daniel Smith better. See, I can't really tell the difference between the Daniel Smith and the M. Graham. And when it comes to cost, they're both about the same, in my opinion. Um, when it comes to quality and, um, just the pigment. Yeah. Hi, Dorothy. Um, Lena was asking about you this morning, wondering where you had been. She hadn't seen you. So we were hoping you were all okay. And then this is, um, a B paper watercolor journal. And I have to say, I think I've been really happy with it too. They put a vellum sheet in between each of their sheets, which is a really nice touch. Um, and these were just quick sketches, five-minute watercolor sketches. That was the paint along with Kathy, which I ended up hating. This one was just a picture that I found that I ended up loving. And I think my painting turned out really good. So that's more important still. Um I think I could do some work on this and make it better, but it is what it is. So I'm not sure which one I want to work in. I don't know. I don't know. I think if we do the um, close up, do these little square ones, I think I want to work in the Ranger one. Many of mine are poems about you, paints, and nibs. See, I've never tried the Schmika paints. Well, not the watercolors. I have some other Schmika products. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried those. I know Kathy has some. Poems about you paints. Are they handmade watercolors, Brenda? Hi, by the way. I have some watercolor pencils and ink tents as well. I'm not crazy about the ink tents, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, they just don't lay down real smooth. Shmika, you guys think I should order some? 
each type is unique. You love them all. See, me too, Carol. I can get out the um, Mission Gold and be just as happy with them. In fact, I've used those so much that I think I'm more familiar with their colors. With honey, but not sure. Huh. Oh, don't tell me about more watercolors. All right. I think I'm going to start. I just like these because they're just cutouts. And you get to play more. So, um, actually, if I do it. no, oh, I'm so Let me measure real quick. I have to get out a ruler. You sent, okay, then that, they're in here. Um, Kathy, these are the ones that you sent me right there. Let me pull it out and make sure that I'm not lying about it. All right, yep, those are the ones you sent, Kathy. They're right there in my dress-up box. Usually I don't pull these out very much. Because I don't dress up very much. Thank you. You did send me some. Did I put them on my cheat sheet? That's another question. I don't even know where my cheat sheet is. <laughs> Here it is. I did. Right there. Kathy Arbor, Schminka. I'm Big Fat Liar. Now you all know it. All right. Let's see. The ones in the book are two by three and a quarter. All right. I think I'll do it in this journal. And I'll put two on each page. How about that? You like that? And I do like the paper in this too. Another nice thing about this journal is it's... um. The paper is so thick. I mean, I don't. It's way thicker than 140 pound. Um, you can paint on the back and don't have to worry about it bleeding through. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Barbara. They, they follow the rules. Those two. Okay, I'm gonna try and do them about the same size. So. Pencil. All right, so I said three and a quarter. Well, here, just do it this one. One and a half and an eighth. There we go. I'll draw the borders after I'm done. And then I don't have to worry about um, the black ink bleeding. Because that would be stinky. Hi, Icy. Okay, that'll work. That will work. Look at you get to see multiple kinds of rulers.
Uh, the binder is jacking with it really bad. They did have at Hobby Lobby, if you guys like lettering stencils, which I do, I love them very much. They had some in the drafting department on sale too. I had them all, probably paid full price, so there you go. But if you if you like lettering stencils, look in that department too because they had some. All right, there we go. We got four panels. So we're going to start with the... Um, I can't pronounce that. Anyway, it looks like a calla lily in yellow. It is a fancy ruler, Tracy. I'm going to do this one. And I thought I would draw them. Some of my very favorite. Um, that's actually a note from Linda Rents telling me what coffee to order at Sonic next time I go in person. Um, but these are some of my favorite watercolor pencils, and believe me, I've tried a bunch of different ones. Um, the thing I like about these is they just melt so easy. I do love my fancy rulers, and I've got a really, really cool one coming for my birthday. Only you guys, when I saw that, I was like, where am I going to hang it? That needs a really special place. I won't be using that ruler that Dee, Dee showed that is a secret. I have to hang that someplace so I can just look at it all day long. So I don't even know how available these are. I literally have had these for years. Love them so much. So much. So much. And I typically sketch with watercolor pencils so that I don't have to go back and erase later. Right? It needs a special frame. I don't know that I'm going to put it in a frame, Rachel. I think I'm just going to um, let it be its beautiful self hanging on the wall. But it'll have to, well, I'm going to have to wait until I see. I have a lot of plans coming up. All right. This color might be okay to draw with. All right. I'm going to have to move the book over here to the side. So you're just going to have to trust me with my drawing okay and if you want to get a fairly accurate depiction of what you're drawing use a grid if you don't feel confident in your own drawing skills I don't care Woodcat, Janet likes rulers but not dictators I love dictators if I get to draw them okay so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, and I might have to pull it back down. Some of these pencils are not very forgiving, so, yeah. But hopefully they will dissolve right in the background. Don't have to worry about it. These remind me of those. Didi, do you remember the um, those little um, assignments you gave out? Let me think. This is what reminds me of that. Um, 
this is just, it started out like a swatch book of all the different little watercolors. Don't ask me how many I have. I'm, I should be embarrassed, but I'm really not. Where are they? Somewhere. Yeah, these were them. Dee Dee's 2x2 two two challenge. Take two. Well, the first one was desserts. Where did I put those? They should be in here. Here they are. Here's Dee Dee's water, ink watercolor challenge. You had to do a 2x2 two two of desserts. Here you go. Here's chocolate strawberries, pumpkin, but second time today we've talked about pumpkin pie. But these were really fun. This was early, early in my watercolor journey when I was just learning. So these were really fun. And this is the same, um, I don't know if she gave it or if I just made it up, but this was the Dee Dee's 2x2 two two challenge. That's what this is reminding me of. Just a like a piece of a picture. Did I do any more in here? Mary Englebright art. Random art. I did love this one. Some of them I obviously haven't. You are enough. How many of you have books like this? Half finished stuff, started out as one thing, turned into another. These birds are fun. I forget about these. I love Mary Englebright. Thanks, Jeannie. Hi, by the way. Yeah, it is a fun little watercolor book. That was my very first watercolor journal. And I have to say I was... Um, I was so intimidated that all I really could do was swatches to kind of get used to playing with them and using them. And um, so that was how I really started um, doing watercolor was I think I bought some of the Primas. No, actually, the way I got started was my niece gave me a bunch of these M grams because she was getting into watercolor. So she um, made me a few pans of hers. And when somebody gives you such a nice, beautiful gift, you, you can't ignore it, right? You have to do it. So Kui, if you watch this, I miss you and I love you and I think of you often. I'm just bad at calling, okay? So just know that. Um, so that was kind of how I started was just doing the swatches because I was so intimidated to do anything else. Um, and then I finally just jumped in with both feet. Um, I think for the pink part of it, I'm going to use Rose Matter. Yeah. Yeah, I have that too, Cat and Paste. Everybody should have Life is Just a Cheribolis. She's actually upgraded that. I don't know if you've seen it, but she has actually upgraded that. And there's two of them now. Just saying. I need a little bit of, I don't want real dark orange. So I'm going to use the Daniel Smith Indian yellow. It's more of a yellow orange than a, a real orange. And I don't need many of these paints. I've already mixed way more than I'm going to need. Um, Dee Dee has shown, and I think I've shown too, there's a book out, The Life of Mary Englebright, where it start, it shows you how she started out drawing. If you've not ever seen it, you might want to look at it because um, she obviously was very talented and did it as a child because she loved it, right? And she shows some of her early, early art that she... Um, started out making her own cards and selling them herself and obviously they're not great but you can tell that she had desire she wanted to do that all right i think we'll come back with darker red if i need a darker red i'm going to use alizarin crimson just a little bit of it all right there we go. There's our colors. That's all we're going to use, I think. I might need 
darker green here in a minute so I can get the paints out of the way and the cheat sheet. She passed away. Oh, no, no, no. No, she didn't pass away. I think she's slowing down. Um, I don't think she's producing like she did at one time. And I don't blame her because at some point you have to retire, which my brother just told me September 1st was his birthday. And I called to wish him a happy birthday. And he said he was officially retired. So, yeah, you got to be happy when somebody says, I'm done. I'm done dealing with the buttholes out there. But, no, I'm pretty sure she did not pass away. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give all of this, the entire thing. Just a wash of water. And I am going to stop early enough that we can play Pictionary for just a little while since Kalura is off today and wanted to play with us. She normally doesn't get to play with us. so. And the pink is fading a little bit, and that's okay. All right, here we go. Starting with just a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to try and do it his way. Where I rather than put the color down all at once, which is what I have a tendency to do, I'm going to try and build up his layers. So I probably won't get this done today, but you, you guys probably don't care, really. So Amy, if you're still listening, do you remember that gazebo? over at um, Stable Cottages. The homeowners have decided that it's rotting and they've hired Robert to demolish it. Can you imagine how joyful Robert is right now? Over there tearing down other people's stuff. I probably should. Well, that's drawing. I'm going to go ahead and draw the the next one so I don't have to use the heat gun quite so much. Captain Destructo, right? Oh my god. I he can't couldn't be happier if he tried, I don't think. Okay, this one it's going to be another calla lily, but um you never want to retire from rut from art. Yeah, see I don't either. But if you did this for a job, like for a production company or something, I would still be doing what I did at Ross Martin. I loved what I did at Ross Martin. The only thing is you have to deal with people. People. That's the problem. Hang on. I got to get a new pop out chat. I just closed mine. But I love the work. Just the people. Will diesel be involved? You know it, Amy. You know there will be diesel involved. This one I'm going to use darker. All right. So let me show you which one I'm going to draw real quick. Jeez, I'm dumping everything. This is the one I'm going to do. It's the... Um, also shaped very much like a calla lily, um, but you're only seeing pieces of it. So I just dumped my mouse. Now all your people are online. Yeah, but we're nice people, Dee Dee. And we don't email you. See, that's the problem with those buttholes that you work with. They couldn't help themselves. They had to either call or email all the time. I'll try and bring this up. I don't think it's going to work, but 
what the hell there's not enough space here there how's that can you guys see it cat and paste that sounds very much like what i did married an older man and then when he retired of course jim well he did retire um yeah then i got to retire too But we re actually retired because of illness. Now, this one is the one that I might try and impress the paper. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I'm going to see how well this erases is what I'm going to do right now. Look at that. Perfect. All right, so that's how quick and easy that um, a sketch can be. That probably will just dissolve anyway, but let's take it out just in case. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to have to get in a little box in here and see if. Get the tool that I can impress with. Should be right here. Shake it out. All right, this is actually a little um, tool that's used to emboss with those um, brass stencils. But I'm going to try it with the watercolor paper and see if it works. This is a big fat boy experiment, so. You're obviously not going to see this. And I don't know how well it's going to work, so we'll see. I'm not sure if I've ever really done this before. I've seen it done and thought it was very cool. I don't think I've ever really done it. This is a great tool for it, though. All right. And then that doesn't need it. All right. Keep your fingers crossed. CB saying it'll work. All right, I'm going to hold you to that CB, which reminds me, I'm sorry I didn't call back the other night. There were people in my space. And then a weird thing happened. I texted CB back, and she said, who's that in the picture with you? And I'm like, what picture? And my phone had sent her a picture that I did not attach. Unfortunately, it wasn't Robert running around in his underoos. It was um, 
me and Julie when we were in Branson together last September. But I don't know how the heck she got the photo. That's what the crazy thing is. All right, this one, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick. Um, but the next one's ready to go now. It was weird because of all the pictures that I could have sent you. Why that one? I mean, but I didn't send it. I don't know where they're possessed, right, Kat? By the devil. The devil, I tell you. Um, Amy, you know what you need to say to Lane, okay? About dwarfs? Yeah, you need to say that to him right now. And say it loud. Yell it at him. Say, hey, blank. What's up? That was such a good time. I can't believe that's been a year since. And I'll show you guys. I don't mind showing the picture. Um. It's almost Pelican time, actually. I'll show you guys the picture from when we were hanging out in Branson. Oh, I have to show you guys another picture. You're going to freak out. Freak out. I'm telling you, where is the picture? There it is. Oh, that's it. I didn't send the one where we're sticking out our tongues, huh? All right. There's the picture that I sent to CB. That's Julie in the middle and me and another friend in Branson. So he's at work today. What's he doing texting me, the little creep? So anyway, but I got to show you guys something else from this weekend. Oh, my God. I was out in the breezeway and I was getting ready to water my succulents and i have some in little baby pots okay this is not getting the painting done but you guys have to see this and um i keep this little container with about that much water in it right and then i just dip the little plants in i don't water them on their leaves i just dip down um and let the dirt absorb the water well i pulled that little container out and Didi, I don't want to hear anything about amoebas or toxic waste or anything like that, okay? Um, but look at what was in my tub of water. You guys, look at that thing. I freaked out. I freaked out. And believe me, that is not a small spider. Can you believe that? I saved it to show Robert, um, and then I made him go, um, let it go out in the field. And the reason I had him let it go rather than just smush it like it probably deserved, um, it's a wolf spider, and wolf spiders are really good. They're good creatures. They're not icky creatures. So he got a new hole over in the pond dam. All right, let's, um, well, I'm going to have to just get it wet again anyway. So let's start with some of the pink. Can you guys see okay? See, that's just it. I, I was reading on the computer because I wanted to make sure that I it was what I thought it was. And, um... Sure enough, it was a wolf spider. And they're actually good spiders. If there is such a thing as a good spider, a wolf spider is good. But they said, be careful of killing them in your house because um, they will drop their little babies and you'll have thousands upon thousands of them in your house. And I was like, holy crap. But it never came in the house. It was always out in the breezeway. You had him on a leash while you... No, he couldn't get out. Um, he couldn't get out of the container that he was in. So, um, 
yeah, it was really, really creepy for sure. All right. And I'm painting different parts of the picture. Um, so that the wet parts stay apart from each other. Demolition guru just came in. Have you um, started demolition yet, Robert? Done. What the heck? It's done. It's done? Did you pick it up and move it all at once, or did you have to take it apart? No, I took. Oh, I wish I'd known. I, t I tied the rope and spun it. <laughs> took me a good minute, but I did it. <laughs> oh my god, Robert Vaughn, you're a crazy man. Um, was it as much fun as you thought? Well, I took all the sports to keep it steady off. And it was just sitting on the legs like so. Yeah. And I tied around and pulled it with the tractor. And when I did, they just they all turned. So it fell all at once. After I took all the supports off. Okay. Oh, that must have been so much fun for you. It was. So is it already moved down to the burn pile? No, we left it right where it is. It's going to burn right where it is. You, are you kidding? Mm -mm. Oh, get out the diesel bad boy. Are you are you saving it to savor it later? Well, or i got to get the shingles off of it yet. Oh, okay. Because I, I don't want to burn it with the shingles on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Can you believe the fun Robert Vaughn is having today, you guys? I love to watch him demolish. <laughs> Robert doesn't know how to run his... Um, yeah, the babies go everywhere. Um, Robert doesn't know how to run the video on his camera. But if it comes to demolition, Robert Vaughn is your man. I'm not kidding you. He can tear things apart faster than anybody you ever saw. Not even hosing. Mm. I can't believe it's already down. That's crazy, Robert. Just in the pile. The roofs are right on top of the pile. I guess I'll take a picture of it. Thumbs up for Demolition Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. I could tell you so many stories about Robert and how he um, does things. Um, not exactly the norm. Right? But if you want something torn down... Robert Vaughn is your man. You didn't wear the fuzzy slippers on the tractor, did you? Mm -mm. Nope, he didn't. Nope. Did you wear your steel-toed boots? No regular shoes. <laughs> Probably the brand new ones that I bought him a couple weeks ago that he's already trashed out. Funny, funny boy. Funny boy. All right, this in here, and I should be able to do it. And it's I stung by a red wasp. I thought you said you kill all the wasp. Obviously, you didn't. This was one out in the shrubbery. Uh oh. I didn't know it was there. Lucky you're not allergic. I'd be laying over there dead right now. Probably nobody'd come and save me. I'm terribly allergic. To bees and bee stings. 
Apparently I am too. My hands all swelled up. Oh, he's absolutely nonchalant about it, Cat and Pace. He wonders why people um, work so hard at things. You want something done easy, Robert will get it done. Not, um, I don't want to use ethical. What's the word I need, Robert? Um, he, he'll get it done the easiest way possible, I promise you. Well, I'm glad you got that done already. I'm sorry I missed it. That would have been fun to watch. Efficient and effective. Yes, he is. But I will admit that sometimes when Robert does things, it can be really quite scary. Should I tell him how, how we cleaned out your mother's house, Robert? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Robert Vaughn's mother passed. Well, it was, she wasn't even dead yet. We had moved her out of her home. And um, she had a whole house full of just stuff. And when I say, you guys, use your good stuff because your kids are going to put it in a dumpster, let this be an example of what crazy people will do. I'm going to let that dry just a minute. Um, but she had, of course, a life's worth of stuff in her house, right? And we didn't know what to do with it. And, and so much of it, honestly, was beyond useful. I mean, we couldn't even donate it, honestly. So his mother lived on a farm that was 24 acres. We call it the farm. It was really like a pecan grove and a big hay field. And um, anyway, Robert Vaughn owned a backhoe. He built a great big, or dug a great big hole at the way, way back of the field. And he went back and forth from that hole to the back door. And we loaded up everything in that house. Waffle irons, couches, <laughs> um, everything. Everything you can imagine in a household. We, um, he hauled it out to the back of the field and um, buried it. There's a couch out in the... <laughs> There's a couch out in the um, back of that field right now. We laugh about that all the time. I mean, all the time we laugh about that. Robert Vaughn burying couches and waffle irons. And I can't even imagine what all was back there. And we hope to God nobody ever digs that up. Oh, no, he did, Ann. Exactly. It will be a conundrum for future archaeologists. Absolutely, it will. All right, I need to speed up. I'm just thinking around now. Couches, chairs, carpet, everything. I should have let that dry a little bit more, but oh well.
have to add some more back later. That's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta let it dry. See, that's my problem is I always want to speed ahead too fast. Unconventional was the word I was looking for. Unconventional. That's what it is. Robert should have his own moving company specializing in estates. Yeah, every mm -hmm. there's probably not enough holes for Robert to where to put stuff. But if you want it gone, oh, it'll be gone. I'm going to hit with the heat gun real quick. It's just not behaving like a want to. You guys aren't seeing the color like it is on this page. I will say that. But when those people asked him to do it, they picked the right guy, right? chance to know what time I started this morning. Robert, do not put me in charge of your time. I have no clue. It was sometime after 930. I do know that. I'm pretty sure. Spent about four hours doing that. I bet they thought it was going to take like four days. Well, it was. Is Rick still over there? Yeah. Okay. So he, did he observe you doing it? Yeah. He, did he, he think? Helped. Did he think you were bat shit crazy? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Sure, well, I don't. Didn't think that would work. But it did. <laughs> <laughs> it cracks me up. Don't ever underestimate Robert Vaughn. Yeah, going through other people's stuff. Uh all right, I'm going to get some really, really light Payne's Gray so I can put, I need some brown and Payne's Gray. Um, where's the cheat sheet? Like a little bit goes a really, really, really long way.
and then the brown. I'm going to use sepia. I'm going to use pretty dark brown. And I'll probably go back in with a white Posca or something. I don't think I'm going to leave the lighter parts of it. Fortunately, my mother, um, I'm going to let that up there dry for a minute. Um, my mother, um, cleaned out her own house and they moved into an RV. So it made it really easy for us kids. Now I still ended up with some of my mom's stuff that ugh, to this day, I have a hard time getting rid of because it was sentimental to my mother, even though I know in my head and I've told myself a million times, just because it was sentimental to her does not mean it's sentimental to me, right? But I still have trouble getting rid of mother's stuff. <clears throat> All right, that's dry enough. I can do that. Get some darker. All right, that's, there's rosemary, okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. This paper, I have to say, is really nice. Oops. Getting little shadows in here is makes it look really weird. And that's what I didn't like about that one I did with Kathy Arbor is the shadows. I thought these would be a least easier.
All right, now I'm going to do the green at the bottom. We'll move on to the next one. And then I'll save those two and do the... Um, Because it's 1.30. We're going to play Pictionary. Okay, I like this. Um, oh, I don't like that one. That one's better. Okay. Let that dry for just a second. Hi, Abigail. Dinner is finished. Yay. I think even though Robert Vaughn had to work so hard driving that tractor, I think I'm going to make him go get me tacos. When you haven't watercolored for a while, it's hard to remember that watercolor dries so much lighter. Okay, and then there's a little bit of green. Oops, I just got paint on the chicken, Devin. The rest of it, I think I'm going to have to go in with pencil and do. Let's quickly do the one next to it. When I do the detail on that, it'll look so much better. So much. We're going to do the purple one just really, really fast. Because I want to see what embossing those lines in there did. Okay. Here's the colors. I'm going to use the Mayan Violet, I think. Yeah. I'll use the same greens that I just used. And then it's almost like a violet color. I think I might use that Quinn purple just right underneath it. And then white and green looks like. Let's try it. What the heck? Hey Jasper, happy Memorial Day to you, got you too. Okay, this one I'm going to be a little bit more careful because um, the bottom part of this is white, so I'm going to get it wet, but I'm going to try and retain the white. of the paper. We'll see how 
lucky I am or how good I am. We'll see. All right. Now I put those marks in there. Let's see how well they worked. If they don't, I can always go back in and put it in with either a colored pencil or something later. And I'm just going to let it flow a little bit down and then stop it because this down here has some yellow in it. It's not that color. And it's going to take layers, it appears. That's fine. Stop right there. Now this one, it's just, well, no, I guess the color is moving down. Okay. We're going to leave that leaf for right now and work on this one. And the same thing, um, the color gets darker as you go up. So we'll let the water do the work for us, hopefully. But I got to stay away from that because that be bad news. And I can't really see the lines, CB. Did you lie to me? I'll add them back in again and see, but. You need to get it in the mail, Jasper. The 15th is the deadline. How's that for bossy? It's working a little bit, CB. The problem is this paper is so dense and it has a texture to it. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to or not. I'm going to try it again, though. And I'm going to add more as it dries. Um, so hopefully it won't travel quite as far. Nice. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun. Because it's about done traveling. As far as I can tell. If it's traveling, it's just a little bit. You can see in the camera how textury this paper is. So, all right, I think that's dry enough that I can work on the 
center part and then we're going to spend the last hour playing Pictionary mostly for Kalura because she never gets to play with us not to mention it's fun for everybody including me All right, I'm going to get out some more. Oh my God. I'm not going to go up into the point of that because it's actually green up there. Oops, sorry. I don't use masking fluid. I think I've tried once or twice um, cat and paste, and honestly, I did not like it. I liked it when it was saving the white for me, but then to get it off, and deal with that mess later no i was i did not enjoy the whole masking fluid adventure and you know I, I think if you're a purist or if i was selling my work you would have to learn um to work with it i don't sell my work this is simply for my enjoyment nobody else's um I thought it was way, 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 way more trouble than it was worth, in all honesty. I just, I did not enjoy it. I, I Maybe because I didn't have great luck with it, and maybe I need to watch somebody else work with it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I was not a fan. Not a fan at all. And in this day and age, and especially because it's for my own enjoyment, I don't like the frustration. Um, and there's so much other stuff you can do now, right? Um, you've got white Posca pens. You can use colored pencil. There's just so much you can do now that it's like, why would you frustrate yourself to that extent if you don't have to? That's just me. And I understand there are some people that are just purists and, and good on them. 
I mean, maybe if I was better at what I do, I I would be that way myself because I tend to be a little persnickety about certain things. Um, but that, no, that was a pain in my arse. Thank you, Rachel. <clears throat> if you scratch it while it's work, okay, there's some free advice from Sharon, and I will maybe try that. See up here, I could have left more white. If I, well, let's just see. Let's see if I can pick up some of the color. Get out my magic eraser. Because up there it actually, yeah, see, you can pick up. If you use good paper, you know, you can do a lot of things that you might not do Otherwise, you've seen masking pens that are less fuss and must or smaller. Okay, now I haven't seen those, and maybe if I did, I'd I'd be more inclined to say, okay, I'm I'm willing to give that a go. But the stuff that you put on with a paintbrush and then pull off, especially small areas like um, paint pens and stuff are just so much easier. And I know it's not supposed to be about easy, but honestly, I'm not going to frustrate myself for nothing. I'm just not. Maybe as a younger person, I don't know. Probably not then either. Because I think in some ways I've actually mellowed as I've aged. <laughs> if you can believe that. All right. I'm trying to keep my hands away from anything that's wet. One nice thing about this paper, though, is it, it absorbs pretty quick so that you don't have to um, worry about the water sitting on top too darn long. That on later. All right. Where's that? Really, really dark, dark, dark. Not sure if I'm going to be sorry for that or not. Well, just don't ruin your paintbrushes. All right, this one needs some serious lines. Let's see this. That's dry now.
All right, this is going to be the last. And then I will finish it probably tonight. I'm going to have to find out when Marsh is streaming again. Because Marsh said he's um, going to start streaming in the evenings. What do you say, Tuesday and Thursday at 6? So generally, if I'm watching somebody else stream, I'll... Um, I'll art along, so maybe I won't finish it until tomorrow night, but I will definitely be attending Marsh's, at least the first couple. He's so good about supporting everybody else, and if you haven't met him, he's he comes to Dee's stream, and he's so darn supportive that I will definitely be supporting Mr. Marsh. Hi, Jane. Well, you have to help the hubs when he needs help. Um, I did show your zines. They were very fun. And I'm sorry when I was showing them, I think I said they, I I said it was yours to begin with. And then I, I had a brain fart and said it was Anne's. But I did show yours. So if you want to see, go back. And watch the beginning of the stream pretty early on. <clears throat> okay, now I'll lay it flat and just let whatever happens happen. But I think they're pretty good starts. And I know you guys, other people could watercolor this in like two minutes. I know that. I'm really, really slow. Really slow. But I'm usually pretty happy with the way they come out. Sometimes not so much. And I will maybe do something with the backgrounds. I don't know. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Jean. I, pre I need a lot of forgiveness, so I'm always asking for forgiveness. And I will define that edge a lot better in that one as well. One thing I do want to do while the paint's out and it's still wet. If I still have some of the darker purple. Calla lilies. They called them something different, Jane. I couldn't pronounce it. And rather than embarrass myself, um, I just called them calla lilies. But they are definitely in the calla lily family. Definitely that. I would like to pick that up if I can. No, I can't. It's too wet. Okay. It was a fun zine, right, Kat? Everybody's done so good. All right. Wash your good brushes out. Now, this is a nice thing about watercolors. Set this aside. Later on, when I want to come back to it, all my colors are still here. And all I have to do is put water on them, and they're just like... They are right now. Awesome. All right, let me go put that away. You're very particular about flower names, Cat. Me too. Just call them flowers. <laughs> really particular. All right. Where's my junk? You guys, how can I do almost nothing and have the biggest mess on the planet? How do I do that? Every journal in the house is out. Probably because I'm indecisive. 
right? Right. I actually do like the yellow and purple on that page. I just look, when I walk by, I just look down at it. I like that color combination on the page. And I'll let it dry. All right, are you guys ready to think and use your brains? And suffer my horrid drawing skills? Check it out. I actually got to draw that. Where did I put the... Um, the pen there it is all right all right color is ready and i am ready too yeah baby no more thinking for this girl This is just the regular Pictionary, the original Pictionary. I just took the box card, box of cards out. Um, okay, and how many of you, while we're right here in chat, how many of you want Dee Dee to play again? I'm just going to draw an old crappy construction paper that I've had since the grandkids were little. Okay, bye, Ann. Thanks for participating in the swap, and I love your zines. And I'm glad you had fun. That's the whole thing. Why are green dots having to be approved? That's stupid. Hi, B. All right. All right, put your thinking camps on. Hopefully mine is working today. A is all play. And if, if you're new, there's, what, five categories. There's people, place, or animals, object, action, difficult, and all play. So um, this is A, which should be action. This is not an action, okay? Just saying. That would be really fun, wouldn't it, Kat? Dee Dee and I play together on StreamYard. Okay. This one would be better if I could... Um, Um, I should have started over. Elbow. That would be fun, cat. Shin splints, punch, uh, door handle. What the hell, Dee Dee? This is going to be hard. Um, there, Terry Brett got it. Bruise. <laughs> Eye of the Tiger. I love you guys. So black eye. Black eye is good, but it's really just the bruise. If you punch somebody, you give them a bruise. Door handle. What the hell? Way to go, Terry. Dang. Dang, girl. What? <laughs> Cat, remember where you're at, would you? Could you just for a few minutes put on your alternate thinking cap and go with it? Another action. Now, bruise to me is not an action. Punching is an action, but the bruise is not an action. I don't even know what this is, you guys.
um, I know how I use that word, but um, okay, we're gonna try it. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure. I got to get a new pen. Hops, step in a hole, Dee Dee, step in a hole. No, 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 no. Um, it looks like he's stepping inside. Oh, Jane. Um, Okay, can we do a bazooka? Okay, this is a bazooka, okay? Bazooka. If you're new here, bazooka means rhymes with. So this. Rhymes with. Okay, bazooka means rhymes with. I'm not supposed to say that. That's cheating. Would Jasper say skipping banana peel? Okay, Jasper, you're on to something there. It's a stupid word. Okay, CB. Way to go, CB. Bazooka worked again. I like that. A scuff, a scuff mark. Whoa, okay. Let's go to our friend Dee Dee and see how Dee Dee would have drawn that. I love bazooka. I love bazooka. It works every time. I don't even get my... <laughs> Okay, Dee Dee. <laughs> no way, Carol. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. Maybe I'm just not on top of my game right now. Give me a couple of um, minutes. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What the breast cancer? <laughs> Sticky boobs. Okay, that B, that's a clue. That is a clue. <laughs> I found this top doctor for a mammogram visit. 
Oh, my God. Um, oh, oh, Terry, Terry, Terry. Terry, you're on it, Terry. Opposite. Opposite, Terry. Yeah, oh, finally. Young. Well, because old lady have saggy boobs. And I, I wanted you to get that this was an old lady. And then this is young. This is a baby. Right? Old, young. How? Okay. Oh, I'm failing terribly right now. Good grief. <laughs> You didn't get the glasses, the saggy boobs, the brooch, and the necklace. The, those are all old people stuff. That was hard work. <laughs> I got saggy boobs. <laughs> yes, you did, B. <laughs> You thought it was a mole? <laughs> Queen Elizabeth wears them all the time. CB thought it was a mole, too. Oh, you guys. You don't get anything. This is difficult. Like, this hasn't been difficult enough already. Oh, my God. <coughs> okay. Let's see. This is going to have to be like a two-part thing. Queen Elizabeth, yeah, she has saggy boobs and she wears brooches and um, pearls. And I'm actually reading a book about her right now. Okay. This one's not easy, okay? First of all, so let's just start there. Oops, I need a new pen. While you guys are guessing at this, I'll... Um, Coffee, coffee, coffee. You guys got coffee. Coffee in the morning. Jitters. Okay. Jane, Jane, Jane. I don't know how to help. Shaking. Tremor. Running on empty. Can't. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give it to. C oh, Linda Renz got it first. Oh, Barbara got it first. Caffeine jitter shakes. So there you go. It's caffeine. Janet running after, you know what? I don't have to run after Robert Didi because he goes before I'm out of bed so that when I get out of bed, it's already here. <laughs> uh, yes, I love that guy. Shaking all over. I can't believe we actually got caffeine. We didn't even cheat on that one, did we? Oh, Cat got it first? Okay, well, way to go, Cat. He's a smart man. He really is. This should be an object. Sorry, cat. I missed it. Okay, now this one you guys can get. You can get this really fast, okay? And I didn't get a new pen yet.
Didi got it. Alarm. That was a good one, right? 7 a.m. Yeah, because I try and be up by 7. I don't always do it, but I try. All right, let's see if either one of these two crappy pens will work. I think this construction paper sucks the ink right out of these pens. I think I'm making excuses for my crappy drawing. You get up before five. Ugh. I don't know. I, I used to love getting up early. Like five o'clock was the perfect time for me. But now it's like you get up you, and it's dark. Ugh. That's torture. Plus, I put it off so Robert feels good about being here before I get up. <clears throat> okay, this one's easy. You guys, you're really close. Bob Ross, yep. No, it's not. That's not correct. Paintbrush, see so you guys. Okay, Chris finally got it. He's a painter. You guys were all around it. And I wanted to just pull this out. But it was painter. I was going to draw a house next and put a guy on a ladder. I'll play. Ah, oh, this is stupid. Okay, we're going to try it. I'm going to make myself do these hard ones, okay? Um, oh, that's already starting out bad. Patrol Scout, oh, you guys, Mini Me's. Go, CD. Go with that. Go with that. Robert Shara. Mm. 
bank heist hold up oh my god i'm gonna give it i'm gonna have to give it away and just say nope and there's no bazooka that i can think of oh my god <laughs> you guys are just gonna go what the hell flying cow <laughs> hikers cowboys okay we're on to something here cowboy shoot up oh there's no way you're gonna get this i'm gonna just say we failed at that one and i didn't fail i'm blaming you guys mounties you guys are so close If it was RCMP or something like that, I would have tried to draw Canada. You guys, that's a posse. When the sheriff has a bunch of guys that are look like him with cowboy hats and they ride horses, that's a posse. Fail, fail, fail. We failed. Oh. Okay, since we failed... I need some free advice how I could have changed that so you guys would have. Why are they going to shoot the sheriff? They're not. They're all showing him. We got guns. We're good. Because they went to a singing class and they learned, I shot the sheriff. Needed more horses. Okay. A posse. Okay. Go. All right. I'm looking at this next one. Um, you know how you see things so often and you know exactly what they look like, but then when you have to go to draw it, it's like, I need to look that up. I don't know how, um, okay. I'm feeling like this isn't going to go well. Crap pen. That one is already in the trash. All right, let's try the blue one again. Board saw you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. Oh, Rachel got it hours ago. Carpenter. Way to go. Rachel, that was good though, right? Jasper got it pretty quick. Clara got way to go. Clara. Grade nine shop class. Yep. They do they even do that anymore? Do kids get the opportunity to get woodworking skills and stuff like that? A SAR. There you go, Dorothy. All right. This one we should be able to get. It would have been if you'd told me I got it. All right.
There you go, cat. Oh, everybody got it right away. Jasper got it first. Abigail got it. Sharon got it. Everybody got it. I'm good at the dentist drawing, apparently. Or everybody's been there and nothing's changed in a thousand years. So every dentist in the world looks the same. Um... Thinking, thinking, thinking how to best do this. Um, now this pen's a piece of crap too, I can already tell. All right, we're just going to go for it. Sword, ward, um, cut, blade, knife. All right, what? This is actually all play, so um, tip, edge. No, oh, I don't know how to do it. Edge, edge. Oh, oh, Rachel. Okay, CB got it first. Oh, no, everybody got it first. Rachel got it. Okay. Abigail got it. Okay, I think Abigail was first. Sharp, sharp, sharp. When you guys got there, you finally got there. Yeah, because it's sharp right when it cuts you. I love when we get them right. Difficult. All right, put on your difficult thinking caps. Oh, this one's going to be so easy. So easy. You guys are going to get it in like two seconds, okay? Pay attention. Jasper may have gotten the whole thing first. I think it is. Jasper got it first. Eggs and bacon or bacon and eggs. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs with a side order of bacon. Heart attack served up. Bacon and eggs. Way to go, Jasper. Oh, this pen's so juicy I can't use the backs. <sighs> I'll play. Okay. Music choir singing. Um, I 
um, solo vocals. It's it, I don't know what to do. Okay, we could do a bazooka. Here's a bazooka for you. Maybe that's not a good bazooka. <laughs> Record note. Song. Thank you, Sharon. You know what this was? <laughs> this is song. And I did that so that you'd know it was just like she's singing, but it's actually this song. And the bazooka is gone. <laughs> Oh my God! What did I? Oh, Abigail got that too. Abigail, you're good at this, dude. Thong. Oh, I could have done a thong. Oh well, that made it a lot easier. <laughs> oh, you did, Rachel. You said song about four. I'm sorry. It's hard to draw. Laugh. Um, Sharon Lombard got it. You okay? Never mind. You guys are smarter than I'm giving you credit for. Me and a thong would have been better. It probably would have been, except you guys would have laughed your hat, heads off. Okay, here's me and a thong. Don't do the thong thing. Okay, was now I don't remember. One, two, three. Okay, so it's all play again. Shorts. That would be mine. I I'm not sure. You guys can tell me if this is cheating. And if it's cheating, I'm just gonna go, oh well, I cheated. All right. There you go. Dee Dee got it in two minutes. Is that cheating? Is that cheating? I don't think you can use numbers or letters. I guess I could have done. But you guys would have said dominoes or something. But I could have indicated the numbers with something else. Okay, Barbara said we can cheat. I vote for her. Person, place, or animal. Oh, this one's going to be really fast. Really, really, really fast. Okay? Really fast. That's it. All right, Sharon got it first. If I ever draw that, it's not nose, it's booger. It really was nose. So sometimes you just get lucky. Really easy. Who's nose? All right. This one is also going to be really fast. That's it.
Rachel got it. God, I love these easy ones. Makes me look so freaking smart. Difficult. Look, everybody's getting it. It was because the drawing was so good. All right, this one's good too. We should be able to get this, I think. And it's one of those ones that I'm having fun drawing now. Any, any pine cone? Let's see. I think Rachel got it first again. Beehive. Oh, 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 oh. To be or not to be. I'll play. All right, this one's going to be really fast, too. Pot of gold. Yeah, but it was, um, I think Sharon got it first. It's just a rainbow. It, I couldn't just draw lines because I couldn't color it in. That was good. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm thinking if this is even doable. I think I just wrote on that card. Okay, I didn't. Um, it's going to be hard, and I'm just going to let you guys deal with it. Patient, sick, dead, nope, not dead. Anesthesia, you guys, I mean, this is just a hard one. Sick, comma, ill, oh, cholera, cholera, whoop, 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 coma. And I did the question mark because there's question whether or not people in a coma have any kind of brain activity, whether they can hear, you know. Yeah. Way to go, Kalura. That was worth playing for just so you could get that right. Because that was a hard one, right? And then I was going to try and do a bazooka. Yeah, coma, really. Um. The only thing I could think of that would um, rhyme with it was diploma, coma diploma. 
You can't see the right side of the paper. Am I drawing off screen? Are you kidding? All right, I'm going to roll again. I'll play. Sorry, Teresa. I'll try and be better. All right, this one I think we can get. Elevator, who got it first? Linda? Nope, Caloric. Did Caloric get another one? Look at that, Caloric got another one. Yeah, baby, baby, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what's between the <laughs> cat and pace? I knew your mind would go there because I thought, oh, that's not a good thing. <sighs> and when I want to draw a dick, I'll just draw a dick. All right, three. I just did that. Oh, no. Now, nah, we'll just pick another one because we're going to cheat. This one sucks, too. What the heck? All right, let's see. I'll draw this one. We'll see if we can get it. All right. Um this is really bad, you guys. No, uh, it's so knife thrower. Um, God, Jerry got it, whittling. Look at it. Starts with a knife and some wood, and then it turns into something you don't know, and then it finally comes out a bear. <laughs> Bear's crap in the woods. <laughs> this is an old guy. And old guys, I don't I was gonna put a pail down here, and I thought, no, they don't whittle into pails, do they? What the <laughs> You have to know how my twisted mind works. Uh. All plague. Okay, this one we should be able to get. Okay, ready? Um, there you go, Shell. I 
guess I could have just drawn it like this, huh? Just would you guys have gotten this? Why is that lady bending over? She's picking up the seashells. Duh, that lady is my mother. Did I tell you guys the story? Um, my mother and father used to go down to South Padre Island every winter. And my mother was like the ultimate shell collector. She was like president of the shell club. And everybody knew my mother. Everybody knew my mother. So um, one day I was walking down at, on the beach. And I leaned over and I found... Um, what do they call them? Baby's ear, baby, something ear. I, I could show you the shells. But that day, I had picked up a ton of them. And they were my mother's favorite shells. So I was, and it was not a nice day. So I was down there virtually alone. And a, another woman walked up to me on the beach. Baby's ear, I think is what it's called. And um, I found a ton of them that day, Kat. It was just weird. And it was the first year we'd ever gone to South Padre. And so this woman walked up to me. And, you know, people on the beach talk like crazy to you. And so, and I, I said that I, she said, oh, you collecting shells? And I was like, yeah, I've been finding a lot of, and I think it was baby's ears. And um, I said, I found a bunch of them today and they they were like my mother's favorite shells. And oh, well, who's your mother? No. Yeah, no. She said, who's your mother? And I said, Helen Martin. And she said, are you Janet? I was like, what? She said, your mother talked about you all the time. And my mother hadn't been dead that long. This woman had been really good friends with my mother. for the longest time and we just met up two women out on the beach which may not be that unusual but I mean she, she asked who's your mother and I said Helen Martin and she was like oh I loved your mother are you Janet crazy huh all right this one's going to be really fast yep it was a God moment, Rachel. It was an absolute God moment. Sometimes I don't think you can um, deny that. And they were baby's ears. I'm almost sure. I can show them to you. Anyway, get, get ready because this is going to be really fast. mountain it was it was a um it was a nice moment i'm going to take a minute to show you how serious this whole shell club thing was um when i went down to the rec center i'll show you what was down there All right, I'm going to have to pull the camera out so you guys can see this because it's so amazing. I was amazed. Could not believe it. Let me move the water. Anyway, I stayed in a park down there, same one my parents stayed at. 
and I walked into the rec center because they had meetings and you could go play bingo and a lot of stuff went on at the rec center. I walked in one day and look what's hanging on the wall. It's so big I can't even show you guys. Look at They had made this for my mother. Look at that. That is my mother right there. Isn't that amazing? I walked in and I was just floored. Nobody had warned me. I didn't know anything about it. And those shells that are going around those white ones, those are the shells that I was finding, the baby's ears. Isn't that crazy? Somebody had made it for her. Little ladies of the shell club. And I had sent them. When mother died, I had contacted somebody down there to tell them. And they had asked what I was going to do. Was they going to have a funeral, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, mother didn't want a funeral. <clears throat> Nothing like that. And um, they said, well, we're going to have a ceremony down here. Um, could we have some of her ashes or something of hers, whatever, whatever. And so I did send them some of her ashes. And they did a ceremony and threw, them, threw in the Gulf of Mexico. Right? Cat and paste. That's... Of all the things that I have of my mother, I, I think I treasure that as much as anything because that was so mother. It was so mother. And if your mother's still alive, appreciate her today because when she's gone, you will kick yourself in the ass. That one's not doable. All right, this one we can do. All right. You guys are going to get this one, I think, pretty quick. <clears throat> I think, I hope. <laughs> Never mind, that's so stupid. That one is so stupid, I can't even... Um... handbag shopping bag you guys are close There you go, Kalura. Man, Kalura, you're kicking butt, girl. I'm glad we played this for you. Garbage bag. It was plastic bag. Kalura's kicking you guys' butt. All right. We don't have much time left, so a couple more. All right, this one we can get really quick. Um... It's actually been talked about today. There you go. Dee Dee got it.
This one's Oklahoma right above it. Only we're not on the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf, Gulf of Mexico is actually, I don't know, down there somewhere. Where's California? I'm not putting California in there, freaking communist freaks. All right, one more and then we're done. Robert's tired from all his demolition. All right, this one should be pretty easy too. Why isn't Rachel correcting your cartography? I don't know, Dee Dee. She might be afraid. You're confused, Kat? Why are you confused? I was trying to identify this. What happened to the mountain? I, th I think I put the mountain in the trash. Um, all right, this one should be pretty easy. Oh, this pen has finally given up the goat. Adios, pen. All right, ignore the colors. Just pay attention to the awesome drawing. Clary got it again. Yep, Clary got it again. That was a pretty good drawing, though, wasn't it? Go Becky, right, Dee Dee? She is kicking you guys' butt and taking names while she's doing it. Shotgun wedding. No, I'd have to draw a shotgun for that one, Barbara. Mind you, I would still... Took too long. We got the whole wedding party. <laughs> What's the answer, church? No, it was wedding. Look at Dad. He's doing a jig going, Woohoo, you got her now. She'd be your problem now, son. That would have been my dad if I'd have had a real wedding jim and i left and went alone went away and then had a huge party the following weekend for everybody because yeah i don't ever do anything the way you would expect all right you guys time's up i've got a mess here it's your fault I'm going to complain and bitch about it for the next 30 minutes while I clean it up and think, why do I do this? What is wrong with me? And then I'll look outside and I'll realize that all the city buttholes went home and I'll be happy again. And I'll quit blaming you guys. How about that? You like that? All right. All the drawings going in the garbage. The only ones I keep are the ones I really like. Ruler, Bazooka, and what was this one? Gravedigger? I don't remember. Why did I save this one? Barry? I don't know. Now I don't even know why I saved that one. Tacos for supper, right, Rachel? All right, you guys. I will catch you next monday but i will see you before that over at Dee Dee's on wednesday or somewhere around on the interwebs try and be nice i try all the time be kind be nice i will show you those when i get them done let me look what they look like on camera oops i gotta straighten that up for damn sure Okay, they look pretty good. I like them. 
And yes, Rachel, God bless us all. So y'all go do something fun. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and wait for Robert to bring me some tacos. All right, you guys. Love you. See ya. Bye. Thank you.